Hey guys, your boy Virtus here and we are back inside of Adobe Muse and in today's video we are going to be working with some social media widgets inside of Adobe Muse. So having said that, we'll be creating things like um, Facebook like buttons, Twitter tweet buttons, things like that. So so I can show you that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the contact page on our website. Now you should have it already and it should just be a blank canvas. From here we're going to go ahead and head down to the widgets library and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the social widgets. And from here we've got quite a selection of things that we can add on here. So for example, we could add like a Twitter like button, a Twitter, fo uh, not a sorry, a Facebook like button, Facebook comment, Adobe Muse badge, uh, LinkedIn, Google Plus, PayPal, and more. There is so many that I want to add in. So for now, I'm just going to work with a couple of the basic ones, Facebook and Twitter. If I go ahead and show you my design markup for the con uh, for the contact page, if I go ahead and show you that, you can see I've got this little Twitter button, I've got this Facebook button, and we're just going to be replacing these with sort of the like buttons, and that's going to like the page, uh, you know, the website page. You can set it to like anything you want, really. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how we can create all of this. So to start with, let's go ahead and add a Facebook like button. Like button. Just click and drag it in and it will just sort of pop up on your website. Now, you may have to give that a couple of moments just to render. Each time you change the properties, you will have to as well. So, if we go into our Facebook like options, you can see we've got two options for action. We can like the page or we can recommend it. We're just going to leave it to like for now. And as for layout, we've got three different styles. We've got the standard one here where it says like and then sort of how many people have liked it or, you know, so on. Box count is going to be something different, you'll see that in a second, and you can sort of see what I mean here about it's sort of just taking a couple of seconds to render in, and this time there's no text, it's just a Facebook like button, and the number of people that have actually liked it, and then lastly, we have always, uh, we've also got the box count, so you've got the button count before, and now it's the box count, and this is sort of just a little bit above, you just sort of need to choose the style and the look that you're going for, for now I'm just going to go ahead and work with the button count one for now. You can choose a color screen. You've usually got light or dark. So if you want it to be darker, you'll see that change in a second. Just give it a moment to render out. And I mean, you can't really see that much difference. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there for now. And then just below that, you can sort of see the URL to like. You can tell it to like the current page and that will like sort of the website that you're on at the moment. So that would be something like, uh, I don't know, Vertus Hub uk slash contact us. If you want it to like the official Facebook page for your website, your brand, whatever you're working with, you just untick uh, current page and just, you know, just type in a link in here. So for example, if I wanted to get it to like my Facebook page, uh, I would just type in that, press enter, give it a second. And if we was to go ahead and preview the page in our browser, give the button a couple of seconds to pop up and we press that, it will go ahead and like, you know, that page, and then it sort of disappears after that. So that is pretty much exactly what we wanted. So for now, I'm just gonna keep that fun this little button here. Um, so I'm gonna keep that functionality, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a Twitter one now. So see if we can find one in here. So let's see what we can find, Twitter. Follow, Twitter tweet, Twitter follow, yeah, Twitter follow will do, and that will pretty much follow the page using their Twitter account. So you can choose the size on here, large, medium, small, do whatever you want to do with that. And then for the follow at sign, you just type in your Twitter account or whatever you want them to follow. For me, that is going to be Virtus edu. And we're going to set the size to, we're just going to leave that at medium for now. And if you want to, you can also choose to show the username or not if you want to. Um, if you uncheck that, uncheck, uh, sorry, uncheck that, it will get rid of the Virtus EDU text and it will look quite nice there. And you can see we've got um, two nice little matching buttons on there. There's a whole bunch of different elements and social media things you can add on here. Really, you guys just need to go ahead, just dive in and play around with them. Another cool little one that I wanted to add it is the Google Maps element, which is really, really nice. Because if you have a look in my design mockup, you can see I've got my Google Maps thing here in the bottom right. So I'm going to try and create this using this, just scale it up to the size that you need and the sort of the Google Maps API will do it, all the rest for you. So just give that a second to load and I'll also show you how to change the location as well. So if we go ahead and click the properties for that widget, 
and go to address you can set an address in here so for example if you wanted to you could go ahead and type in maybe oh I don't know this is gonna be a bit of a weird one where shall I set this to I don't know United States maybe let's just type in United States and that will pretty much show us the whole United States now if you have like a business address or something like that you can just go ahead and chuck it in there and it will sort of by default put the pin on that location so the player, not the player, but the user can find it quite easily. You've got different kinds of map, you've got road map, hybrid, terrain, satellite, Just it just sort of changes the look, so the satellite is going to be top down, it's going to show you all the little details like roads, trees, grass, all that kind of thing you can see here. Personally I prefer going for the road map, it just looks really really clean, really simple. So let's see if we can just sort of position this in here a little bit better. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller as we don't need our map to be too big. And whoops, we don't want it to be moving about. And also, uh, we're also going to move these over. And in the next video, we're actually going to be showing you how to add in this little contact form so we can sort of position our Twitter button, our Facebook button, and all of that kind of thing in top. And one last thing that I do want to do on this page before I do go any further is sort of add in a bunch of text. Add in a bunch of text here because I can type really, really quickly. Okay, cool. So we'll be filling that up later on. We'll be styling everything later on, but that is pretty much everything for today's video. Really, I just wanted you guys to sort of go through all of the social media widgets, play around with them, check out all of the different functionality you got available because there is loads of stuff. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you share the video, smack that like button, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.